guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley for those of you who are watching for the first time and for today's video I'm kind of doing something that's very very long overdue I am going to be telling you guys all of the deets when it comes to brand sponsorships and ambassador programs and all of that stuff if you guys follow me on Instagram you would see that I have a couple sponsorships going for myself currently I am a Victoria's Secret pink ambassador me and my boyfriend Zach are Shea Moisture ambassadors all right so let me just tell you guys really quick so an ambassador program is usually a ongoing partnership with a brand and usually they'll send you items or clothes or whatever they may be selling and in exchange you would share that on your social media and sometimes that brand will offer you commission which means that if people buy from your link or if they use your code you get a certain percentage from their purchase but the ambassador programs I am in for like um, Shea Moisture and Pink those they just send me products in exchange I post on social media or I'll post on YouTube so when it comes to ambassador programs usually you can apply to those so for Shea Moisture I actually was able to apply to that one and I'll leave the link down below so you guys can find it but the application process is pretty easy they just want to know the basics about you like your social media accounts like why they should choose you what will you do with these products how could you benefit them so the applications are pretty basic but I'll give you some basic rules when applying to these that can up your chances but I'll get into that later anyway so for ambassador programs you can apply to those like Shea Moisture and I'll leave the link down below so you guys can feel free to try it out for next year but when it comes to like pink and those bigger brands for their ambassador program sometimes they'll like reach out to smaller influencers like myself because not all the time does a big brand want to work with big influencers they kind of want to kind of branch out and like work with smaller influencers because like me I have more of an intimate relationship with my followers because I don't have as many so for example pink was on that kind of mindset and that's why they reached out to me to work with me but that's just an example of a few of my ambassador programs but anyways let's get into sponsorships when it comes to like paid sponsorships and stuff like that so first of all I'm just gonna tell you guys how you should get started so number one when you are reaching out to a brand the first thing they're gonna look at is obviously your following so I would recommend you have at least like 10,000 followers on your Instagram social media or something like that because they almost always ask to see your numbers your insights and your how your posts are doing so by having at least 10,000 followers that just shows that you have the numbers to be able to work with them if that makes sense also if you're just starting out I would recommend that you tag brands in your posts so like if you see my Instagram pictures I'll tag where all my items are from and that just allows the brand to see that you show them love that you actually use their products that you appreciate what they have to offer and that will up your chances when you do finally reach out to them and then when it comes to the point where you do want to finally reach out to a brand I would recommend that you either DM them or you email one of their PR um, representatives because if you just email a regular customer service or whatever email it's gonna be really hard to get a response because most of the time those people are just trying to deal with like customer service issues like shipping and like missed packages like they don't really care about partnerships and stuff like that so definitely when you want to work with a brand try to research their PR person and usually if you DM a brand it's their PR person that's running it so that kind of ups your chances as well also keep in mind when you are reaching out to brands that you will get a hundred no's before you get one yes and it does get a little a little discouraging but if you are really 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 determined to be a influencer then don't give up because eventually you're gonna get that one yes and you're gonna be so happy and then everything will be worth it so next topic is who should I reach out to so as a smaller influencer like myself I usually work with larger brands which is kind of backwards because so like for a larger brand they're not really looking for a large amount of followers because they already have the followers they don't need any more rather instead they're looking for an influencer has who has a good connection with their followers and who their followers trust their opinion and they have such a big influence that makes their followers want to take action and makes them want to buy products from whichever company they're advertising 
advertising for. So that connection is really what larger brands are looking for. And that's how I'm able to work with companies like Shea Moisture and Pink and stuff like that. It's because they're turning their mindset and they're starting to understand that like, it's not about how many followers you have, it's about how much of an influence you have on your followers. Does that make sense? I have had a lot of good luck, you guys, like, <laughs> but it's from work, you know? All right, anyway, so the next topic I'm gonna talk about is how to spot scams when it comes to like influencer programs. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little story time. When I was like first starting out, this company reached out to me and it was like a clothing company or something like that. And they wanted to work with me. So I like messaged them back. Like I wanted to know, always ask for more details before you ever agree to anything. Definitely always ask for more details because you want to know as much as you can about a company before you decide to work with them. So anyways, I asked this company for more details. And first of all, it seemed very sketchy because if everyone on their, all the people People on their Instagram account they would post people and they would tag them tag them and say that they're wearing their clothes but then when you went onto the actual person's Instagram and you went you found the same exact picture that that company posted they tagged a different brand so clearly one someone was lying and it was the clothing brand that was trying to work with me so always look through their social media accounts and make sure that the people that they are tagging are legit and like try to find other um, influencers who have worked with that brand to like confirm their legitimacy and another Another thing that you can look for is that if a brand is like contacting you and they're telling you that if you buy something and then I'll give you the money back or if you buy something and then you share it with your followers and then you get a certain amount of buys from it then those type of stuff are you have to really be wary of because usually if a brand wants to work with you they'll send you stuff like you you won't have to purchase it from your own pocket like that's usually not how it works like if a brand really 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 wants to work with you they will send you stuff because they want you to help them kind of that makes sense but other than that just really really do your research before you ever agree to work with a brand because you definitely want to avoid any of those scams and stuff like that so yeah lastly I just want to talk about paid sponsorships so I've had I've been able to do a couple of paid sponsorships like me personally I've worked with a couple like I've done some paid Instagram posts with like clothing companies hair companies all different kinds of stuff but when it comes to working with those type of companies um it's really interesting important to distinguish your worth like don't don't just agree to the first price they set for you I've had a lot of trouble with that in the past like my boyfriend helped me really understand my worth because when you work with these companies and it's a paid sponsorship they're gonna try to ask a lot of you and make it seem like oh you have to do this for me because I'm paying you this amount of money like I could find someone doing this for free never ever think about that because if someone is reaching out to you to work with you it's because they see something special in you and and that means that you have something to offer them. So if they want to use your services, then they're gonna have to pay you for that. So never, ever, ever try to downplay how much you're worth. I'm not gonna tell you how much I charge brands because that's a lot of information, but just try to take into account. I, in the beginning, I just averaged how many views I would get per video. If they wanted me to make a YouTube video, I would average how many views they would get. Or if they wanted an Instagram post, I would average how many likes I would get or how many Instagram stories I would get. And then that's really how you kind of distinguish how much for whichever social media platform they want to use you for. So yeah, but when you do agree to a money transfer, it's very important that you sign a contract because that is how you are guaranteed guaranteed to get paid. Once you sign that contract, they cannot, they can't go back and be like, oh, I can't pay you this. So when it comes to money, make sure you're signing a contract. And usually if you're working with a legit professional brand, they will have you sign a contract. So that's one way to confirm if a brand is also real or not. Also, when it comes to like these influencer agencies that like help you work with brands and stuff like that, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it, but just keep in mind that you don't have to do it because I've been in a couple cases where I'm not part of a marketing or like what's it called I'm not part of like a PR firm and I'm not like registered in one of those websites like goat agency and stuff like that but it has been cases where brands have reached out to me that are working with goat agency even though I'm not even a part of goat agency so like don't think that just because you're not part of a PR firm that brands won't reach out to you it's definitely possible to do these things yourself especially if you're like a small influencer don't think that you have to pay someone to help you get more exposure if that makes sense if you're doing it right and you're average advertising yourself well, then brands will come and reach out to you. So yeah. 
I think that's all I really have to say. I hope that this video was informative enough. If you guys do still have any questions, I will be happy to answer them through my DMs and stuff like that. I am not an expert, but I feel like I've been doing this long enough to help you guys and give you guys a little bit of advice of how I got started and, and where I'm at right now. But yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!